ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brandon Martin here, and this is WWE 2 k 19 my Grimmo. This is episode 4. If you haven't seen the last three episodes of WWE 2 k 19 for my Grimmo, I would highly recommend you do so. Go check out the playlist and all that, and yeah. It's under WWE 2K19 My Career Mode. If you haven't checked out any of my My Career stuff, I highly recommend you do so before you're watching this one. But for this one, what we will do is let's see who will be my first opponent for NXT. Yeah, we'll see. Without further ado, let's go. You know, let's go to the match right now. Go and talk to Cole Quinn ahead of time. So. Excuse me. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select it. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? Oh, what? No. To pull off something like this? No, really? God damn it. Are you kidding me right now? I got to face, I'm going out to face the masked man? Well, I think it's time for some butt kicking today. So here we go. To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his masked fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is an absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's going to get beat up by this fan a second time. Oh, shut up, Corey. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. You can, uh, if I were you, I'm not going get your hopes up already. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's in a brand of entertainment saying, this is what WWE is all about. some serious pain here. Oh my god! This is 
shot. Destruction no one was expecting. He looks a bit off his game here. He came into this match expecting a fight. That's exactly and belly to belly. My God. Not for the max just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in good shape. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power. And then again with Skyball. Big German. Witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Another big German. There you go. drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. I just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with the talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Live! Unbelievable. Wow. All right, 1,571 XP, 1,731 BC, 1,200 gold, and 380 And that's it.
Wow. Looks like a cold coin now, or we got more. I'm so sorry for the talk. Answer your phone. Please talk. Please, please talk. I swear. Buzz. Hell, you don't want to talk to me right now. But I am so sorry, okay? I panicked when you got the WWE offer and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be, so I decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down and Maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. Well, we now can go talk, 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 talk. Hey, bro! <laughs> what? A crazy night. I know! That was the craziest, goofiest <laughs> roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm I'm still in shock from everything that happened. Well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're gonna do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But, if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You, uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... I'm gonna miss you, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know. It's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wow! <laughs> <Wow! laughs> Got to be kidding me! You know, what? seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, alright? This van was the last thing that my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Start pushing. Oh, Cole, he's... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Next week. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. 
like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. your first side match. Side matches are matches that are not part of the main storyline. You can use side matches to earn more rewards. Side matches give you rewards based on how well you do in your match. The higher rated match you have, the better the rewards. Try to get a five star match to maximize your rewards. Well, okay. Dr. Baron, Dr. Gender, go to the match. No. Let's go ahead and talk to. Let's talk to Baron right away. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. Look, I get it. Nobody likes the new guy. But that doesn't mean I don't deserve an opportunity like everyone else. Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm going to finish what he started. Can't talk to Aiden and Rusev? Aw, oh, man. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Jinder now. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Did you say runner-up? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you need to win to become number one contender tonight. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. Well, we can do a side match right now. Can we skip more rewards? But you know what? Let's do it. Hey, I didn't mean to get off on the wrong foot with you earlier. Go look out there tonight. I don't need luck. I'm a former WWE champion. If anyone needs luck, it's someone who's never been, ever even wrestled a match in WWE before. Technically, I faced Braun Strowman in a tryout match, so I have wrestled in WWE before. You think you're really smart, huh? I wouldn't, wouldn't say really smart, but I'm smarter than the modern day moron. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I want to wait until the Battle Royal to get my hands on you. Me neither. Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to see in the ring, runner up. Me either. Oh, 
Oh. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Jeez! Back suplex. Oh, looking for another, it looks like. What is it? Oh! 
his raw power here. Cut that suplex coming. There's more to come. The superstar is still not done. Can't talk to Rusev on this thing. Let's go to the match right now. We have a great match coming up next. All eyes are going to be watching. Oh, we got to face Mojo Rawley, Ty Dillinger, Xavier Woods, Baron Corbin, Tina Mahal, Rusev, and Zach Ryder.
comes our next uh, comment.
sound like he's in there with the slaps, guys. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. It's just a matter of time now. Man, tight. Dillinger. What offense. Oh, a devastating shoulder tackle.
long-term injuries for sure. Getting in with a strike like that lets you know just what kind of fight you're in. He's starting to feel it here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But I'm not going to usually all change here. Man, Xavier Woods, what offense. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. shot by Rusev. This is exactly how he drew this one up. A nice shot by Mojo Rawley. What we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Bye-bye, Rusev. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh boy, he is rolling. Yep, he's gone. He is rolling. Mahal is looking to end this. Guys, the modern day Maharaja has become almost unbeatable since his 2016 return. What strategy do you employ to defeat ah, Mahal? Quite frankly, I think a lot of people make the mistake of underestimating the modern day Maharaja. I don't think Randy Orton expected much of a challenge in Backlash in 2017, but Mahal brought unexpected fury and left with the WWE Championship. Never take Mahal lightly. Going back to Jinder Mahal being underestimated, I think many veterans in it. What does Buzz have in store? We're about to find out who's going to do it. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. But he's got to capitalize now. Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. It's got to be over now. Hey, Woods. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match. No, no. Come oh, come on. on. Seriously. We're almost there. Damn it. Going to the top. High risk. Look out. Alright, right, there we go. That's a little better. Took a little longer than expected, but This time needs to be held by someone who needs more than just captures. I'm going to save that moment I face Bob Drew. It's the first one. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. 
because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Brett the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. Champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. Champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! Speaking of glorious, we're playing the champion of U.S. Champions. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week. Get lucky by winning a battle royal. And then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth. Because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring, night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Well, that's right, nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our U.S. title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please, continue. <laughs> okay, if you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. Ooh. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Was this U.S. title match against Bobby Roode and Iron Man match? Well, next week. Well, well, well. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. Enough well, said. Bring on the title contenders. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do this in the next part of WWE 2K819. My career mode in the next episode. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I know why I didn't. And if you like WWE 2K19 My Career Mode, episode number four, the Masked Man has been revealed. Please give this a thumbs up and please like this video. Leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to tap that notification bell. I have a name, Brandon Martin. And it's for the On the YouTube app, so you never miss an upload of live stream. Unfortunately, we will get to do that in the next episode. Yes. We will get to do that in the next episode. And yeah, that's it. And I'm going to set up a little live stream. And we're getting close to 500 subscribers on this on my channel. Keep, 
keep supporting my channel and all that. And I'll hopefully just appreciate it, get more subscribers along the way. And yeah. And we will get to that U.S. Championship match in the next episode. And I'll see you guys for the next episode of WWE 2K19, My Career Move.